Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Sham, Harach Hakodash. All right, the bonus of the apostles, apostles and elders, every millstone, who rule well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you. Hopefully, like that, to push not this word of thought, truth, and sincerity. <coughs> Shalom. This is a, a video about this damn devil being bold again. So the title reads, Bible Museum Puts Up Transgender Jeebus Exhibit. You know? So, they're right there, you know, it's a red flag. This damn devil's got to go, in, like, right now. A German Bible Museum has created a controversial exhibit that displays, all right, the sweet Jeebus Christ as being transgender. A transformer now. All right, so what they done is first of all, they replaced the true image of Yahweh Shai. You know, made him look like a pale looking ass white white passive beta male simp. You know? Um and now now they turn him into a homosexual. They they they, they put the they put the name Jesus on them. And now they make him a into a transformer. And this this is this honor right here, man. And really blasphemy as well. Because uh because this damn devil tried to, you know, put himself like he's the most high. And you know, put his image as if as if as what Yahweh Shai was a white man, which really he ain't. Yahweh Shai is a so called black man. So for some years now, society has been opening up to non binary gender concepts. And that's that westernization, you know, that one that Esau done fed to these people out here. And these people accept it with what well, Welcoming arms, you know, arms open, ready to hug and say thank you and whatnot. That's bugged out, man. We sometimes have heated debates about gender equitable language. You know, why, why are you going to have debates? All right. The, the, the scriptures have have it plain. All right. No transformers. All right. Yeah, that's not how the Lord intended it to be. It seems to be one of the burning issues of our time. Take a look at the diversity of gender identities. From the biblical and modern times and find a divine answer that fits all questions. You are good as you are, the museum's website say. So that's a new ideology. And Esau's westernization, you know, e e Esau's, Esau's philosophies all come with ideologies, religions, you know, these sciences, certain things meant to make you think of a certain way. And these people are already programmed to accept this with opening arms. You know, a lot of these Christians are going to freaking start saying, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, that's true. No, man, no, it ain't. All right, because Yahweh is shy. You know, n never did this. All right, there's no account where, where he would where he would accept this. All right, he was a very plain, austere man. All right, a sinless power. All right, he cursed the wicked. All right, he, 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 he spoke parables, rebuked many. And the parables that he spoke, man, they're they're pretty harsh. You know, and coming again, even the fact that, you know, that he was out teaching, and certain accounts talk about the, the rude speech. Hey, you know, I wish I was very rude in speech. But anyways, this is the book of Joel, the thirteenth chapter, verse four. But ye are forgers of lies; ye are all physicians of no value. All right, that's straight to the point. This damn devil. Is forging this lie that that, that you know the, the, the Messiah is the, the the true color, the true image of the Messiah is it, really a so called white man. It ain't. All right, it ain't. You know, well that's the that's the, the philosophy that these people feed to you, and you and you and you Jake out there just just accept it with opening arms. But anyways, uh, um, I believe it was. Let me just try and search it up. You know, so much is so much dishonor right here. Matthew twelve and thirty one. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but this blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And this damn devil, blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, you know, putting himself up like he's a most high, and that the true image image of Yahweh Shai is a so called white man like him. And this damn devil's through, man. He's been marked already.
There ain't no, there, 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 there ain't no salvation coming in this damn devil. You already held the cannibal for this. You know, you, you got the, you got the, um, you got the gay Jesus on Netflix. Ridiculous, man. If I can, I'm not sure if I can find it, but that's it. Yeah, gay Jesus. You know, now you got a transgender version of him. You know, Yahweh Shai is really pissed off at that. Alright, the book of Jeremiah. In the 51st chapter. Verse 7. Babylon had been the golden cup in the Lord's hand. Which Babylon is really referring to America. Alright, because America retains the ancient ways of these past kingdoms. You know. Um, because uh, these, these ancient customs... At these kingdoms one 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 sad America's doing the same thing. It's bringing them back. All right, and that's through the spirit, man. And it, and you can't see that. Then that's because you ain't being dealt with. All right, the spiritual things are not affecting to the natural man. Babylon has been a Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, Lord's hand. Why? Because you know all this is happening on the left hand side of the heavenly Father. And because the scriptures say he 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 he, he um creates evil and good. So that made all the earth drunken. Yeah, and all these nations, at one point, you know, they, they consumed all this westernization and they accepted it. But now they're starting to turn against this damn, this damn devil. They're starting to see his true horns. And they're starting to hate him. Although they're still infatuated and allured by his, by, by his, um, you know, delicacies that he retains still. But all that's going to go up very soon. That's why you see the economy the way it is right now, falling down. You know, it talks about how the dollar's already going down. And that's why this damn devil's moving to a digital digital currency. Now I'll keep all these other nations in debt no matter what. The nations have drunken over wine. That philosophy, all right? Therefore the nations are mad. And you know when when they when when they wake up from that from this from this state that they're in, they're gonna be very pissed off. You know, at the fact that they actually believed in and then the ways of this ridiculous fool. And the kingdom, everybody's going to know this damn devil for a fool. As of the 14th chapter. Um, if I can find it, if I missed it. Yeah, verse 16. Isaiah 14 and 16. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness, and destroyed the cities of rough? That opened up the house of his prisoners, all the kings of the nations, even all of them lie in glory. And one in his house, own house, but thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch. And his raiment of those that are slain, just thrust through with the sword that go down to the stone of the pit as the carcass trodden underfoot. Under feet, Salakia. You know, so everybody's gonna know you for the fool that you are. Alright. And uh, lastly, I wanted to get out. If I can find it. Yeah. I'm so lucky. Uh, wrong one. Isaiah the 66th chapter. Or the third. If I can find it. If it's, it, if it, if that, if it's that one. Yeah. And I haven't marked it up yet. I'm so lucky. Isaiah the 63rd chapter, verse 1. Who is he that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Which Basra was a capital city over in Edom back in the ancient world. And Edom, you could apply this to America, man. And because Yahweh Shai is going to visit America to come deliver us and to bring mass judgment. All right, you heard about in 2 Peter, the second chapter, how it talked about how the Lord overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, which was made an example on for the ungodly. Hey, same thing right here. America is an example on how not to how not to rule a kingdom. And this damn devil is wicked. So everything he goes against what you're supposed to do. He he just destroys everything, man. He destroyed the image of of Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is very pissed off. That this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Hey, because he's coming in great glory. I that speak in my right in righteousness. Mighty to save, wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that tradeth in, in, in the wine fat? Hey, because he's going to come here for mass judgment, to bring a killing upon these people, man. 
All right, he ain't coming no, with no cupcakes and rainbows like these people like to believe. All right, people botch up the rapture, you know, they, 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 they have this idea. And then some others change it up. All right, if I'm correct, I remember I heard some, some guys say that all the angels are just going to appear out of nowhere. You know, and they're all going to start bringing the people, even the non-believers together. You know, and happiness and a very glorious thing. Man, my ass. No, man, that's not happening. Yeah, I wish I was coming with the great, with the great slaughter. He even said in his own words in the red letter, I come not with peace, but with the sword. You know, I have trodden out the white empress alone and of the people there was none with me. I would tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my raiment. Yeah, how was I describing the, you know, the, <clears throat> the way he's going to take you guys out? First and foremost, the Edomites and the, the heathens and, and and even these two third ass niggas out here, you know, in America that that, re, that 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 glorify and retain and seek this damn devil's ways. Verse four: For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeeming is come. And I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, mine own arm brought salvation unto me in my fury; it upheld me. And I would tread them down the people in my anger and make them drunk in my fury. And I would bring down the strength of the earth. All right, with that being set up, this video is edifying, and Lord, Lord will we continue to push. Shalom.